I'm Steven Sater. I'm the author and lyricist of Prometheus Bound, which is forthcoming at ART, and for which we're partnering with uh, Amnesty International, which is our great honor. And um, happy birthday, happy anniversary, Amnesty, 50 years of extraordinary work around the world. I don't know what people know about Prometheus Bound. It's a 5th century, 5th century BC tragedy written by the Greek dramatist Aeschylus, which seemed to me so timely. And in some way, it's, it remains shocking that this play was ever written or staged at all. It is perhaps the most searing indictment of tyranny ever written, and it was written really at the birth of Western democracy. Prometheus was a titan, a god, who uh, smelled out that Zeus, you know, the Ur god, the ultimate god, the father of the gods, intended to obliterate humanity. And he stopped that act and then stole fire and gave fire in an act of pure compassion to humanity. He gave also language, which was the source of thought and memory. Aeschylus chooses to start his story, however, not during the War of the Titans and not with this, the stealing of fire, but really as Prometheus, this god is taken and nailed to a rock at the end of the earth, the very end of civilization, by two demigods known as force and violence. The play really sets forth the struggle of the soul in the hands of force and the power of the human mind to resist. Prometheus is offered, over the course of the play, is offered a chance to, um, you know, is offered a plea bargain, so a chance to get out. In some sense, Prometheus is the world's first prisoner of conscience. Serge Tankian, who's done a lot of work with Amnesty, is our partner on this. I felt, and Diane Paulus, my partner, felt that we wanted to, if we were going to create a Greek tragedy that could work within a contemporary context, we wanted to use the language of our time, which is rock music, which is which has within it that sort of cry against the the the, the deaf heavens. Um, Serge, you know, is a second generation um, Armenian genocide survivor. And the Armenian genocide, which is like a wound without a name, that's a, a, been a blight on our, you know, a blight on the past century, he he responded to the material so immediately, and Diane to so embrace the opportunity to develop a piece somewhat outside the the norms of where theater is developed. We really wanted to reach out to the community, and so so we approached Amnesty about. Um, partnering with us. So each week we're going to dedicate our performances to another uh, prisoner of conscience around the world. Um, we will be holding vigils. After performances we'll be holding panels, demonstrations. It's a lot of work that's going to be going on. Um, and I, I suppose our, our ultimate aim is to try and shine a light around the world and follow your lead um, in our own way.